Today we're going to do uh, Chateaubriand or beef tenderloin if you will. Uh, we got a really big portion here, about 40 ounces, which will easily serve four people. Um, all we're going to do with this is we're going to put a light coating of olive oil on it. We're going to cover it with generously with fresh ground black pepper and some sea salt. And then we're going to sear it in the Dutch oven. And then we're going to bake it in the Dutch oven until the internal is about 120. And that will probably take about 40 minutes. And then it will come out of the Dutch oven and we'll let it rest for about 10 minutes before we cut it. So we'll just go through get this thing coated up here. It doesn't take much oil. We're just a light coating. But we want to make sure that we get all the sides of it seared in the oven and we do have it you know tied up here to keep it the shape uniform and that'll make it cook a lot more even pretty simple recipe easy to prep I'll make sure you get these ends done also all the way around with the salt and pepper generously all right that's ready to go into the uh, Dutch oven and get seared on all four sides so we'll bring you back when we're ready for that Okay, we're back. We're going to sear this Chateau Brion up. We're going to go ahead and sear this up on all, all four sides and the ends. And get it good and you know crispy on the outside. Probably take a couple minutes on each side. We'll run this one side here and then we'll come back and we get ready to uh, put the lid on and put more coals on the top and oven roast it. got this baby all ready to go. I'm going to slip this trivet in here. Center that up. Throw a couple baked potatoes in here with it. And we're going to get the lid on this, add some new coals to it, and let it go until this reaches an internal temperature of 120. So we'll bring it back when we're ready to plate. Okay, we're adding a second and hopefully last set of coals here. We're gonna run 15 on the top and nine on the bottom. Well, that's pretty good. It came out 15. All right, we got 15 on the top, and we're going to add 9 on the bottom here in just a minute when the other bottom ones wear out. And then we'll bring it back when, oh, about 40 minutes, I imagine, is what it'll take for that to hit 120. 
Okay, we're back. It's dark outside, so we didn't film the Chateaubriand or beef tenderloin coming out of the oven, Dutch oven. Uh, we left it in there for about an hour, which may have been too long. We just checked it, and it looks like it's a little warmer than we wanted it. Uh, it's been resting here on this meat platter for about 10 minutes, so we're going to cut into it and see what it looks like. I think it's probably going to be done a little further than what we wanted. Let's see, I'm going to get a hold of it here in the middle. Turn this around. Yeah, it's, I'd call this medium at best. So it, it got a little further done than we normally like it, but it's still a little bit pink here right in the middle. But, you know, nice and juicy. Uh, like we said, it was a lean cut. There isn't a lot of uh, marbling in there. I'd say the only thing if I was going to do it over again, I would have checked it a little bit sooner, but... You know, that's all part of your outdoor cooking. Uh, we cooked this outside in the Dutch oven just to show that, you know, even something like this you can cook out there. And obviously we overcooked it a little bit more than we wanted it. But So if you keep close attention to it, you can cook this kind of stuff in the Dutch oven. Anyway, we're going to get this plated up and we'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Uh, we got this all plated up. We got our Chateau Brion with the traditional Chateau Brion. It's kind of a shallot tarragon sauce. Uh, unfortunately, the meat came out more well done than we were planning on. So just a note, keep an eye on that, you know, temperature. Normally it takes about an hour, but today an hour was too much. So anyway, we got that. Our uh, russet baked potato and some fresh asparagus that we just cooked up to go with it so all this is easily doable we cooked these baked potatoes right in next to this chateau brion in the oven we started them before we browned this and finished them with it so all doable in one oven and we got plenty here to serve four people so it could be a great meal either at home or in camp so hope you enjoyed the video and uh we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. I won't get too close to that dragon. I might bite a piece of that meat off.